Today we are looking at the F1 Pro solar powered floodlight wireless outdoor security camera. This was very kindly sent to me by Andran. I've also reviewed other cameras. I will leave a link in the description box below and in the iCard if you want to watch them videos. I will also leave a link in the description box below if you want to pick this up. 355 degrees pan and 90 degrees tilt forever power. So if you live in a country where you get a lot of sun, you will not need to charge this. However, make sure to charge it before you mount it outside. We have some information on this side. So that is no 100% wire free, PTZ control, built in speaker and microphone. It is weather resistant. It sports a micro SD card up to 128 GB. This does also have cloud storage. That's a paid subscription. The solar power on this is 5 watt, siren and spotlight, motion detection, colour night vision, of course because of them uh, floodlights, and multiple user access control. So you will remain the main admin, but if other people download the app, they can keep an eye on things as well for you. A thank you card, security sticker, instruction booklet, that's the panel, I like how thin this is, mounting thread, I don't know exactly how long this is, it'll be around two foot, type C connector there, Type A to Type C cable here. Mounting bracket for the panel. It has three holes at the bottom. And this can be adjusted. So you could have the panel at a decent angle where the sun will get it. That will go at the back of there. Mounting template for the panel. Mounting template for the camera. The base for the camera. That will fit on at the back. Like so. A cable at the bottom with the type C port. Mounting bracket. Two fixed antennas. You could move them to get better reception. This does run on the 2.4 gigahertz network. Two LEDs. Speaker at the back. Over here, if I lift this up, we have a reset button, power on off button, and a micro SD card slot. Where I have my thumb, we have a QR code there. Okay, I'll quickly do this off camera. Please remove all film from the lens. Tap next to show a QR code and let your device scan the code. Keep your phone five to eight inches from the lens. This is what I like about the app. It's really helpful to set up a camera, it guides you through everything. Connecting. Please wait a moment. It's connected, that were really quick. Giving some helpful tips here now. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. Well, I, I'm not doing that at the moment, so I, I could skip this. Okay. And there, we are connected. We are connected. We are connected. We are connected. I'm getting feedback from that. We've got standard definition or QHD, as this is 2K. I'll mount the camera, we'll have a quick look at the app, 
and we'll have a look at some daytime and nighttime footage as well. One thing to mention, when I do show you the daytime and nighttime footage, the quality you guys are going to see will be slightly reduced because YouTube compressed the file. I know just to show, I forgot to mention this yesterday. In one bag, you get three screws and three wall plugs. They for the panel. And in the other bag, you'll get eight screws and four wall plugs. The four wall plugs and the four large screws, they're for mounting the base. And then the four small ones are for mounting the base to the camera. You can see we've got four holes there and we've got four holes on the bottom base here. It'll match up like so. And then them four screws would go two in that side and two on the other side. I mean, just looking at this, you wouldn't want to go near a property that has this outside. It looks quite cool, this. So if I turn the lights on, that's why they call it colour night vision. They bright them. I'll turn on the siren so you can have a listen. Here, we'll have a quick look at the app and then I'll show you some daytime and nighttime footage. So you can see we are up and running live screenshot that will get saved within the album hold to talk record again that will get saved in the album motion detection so we have a quick toggle here we could turn it on or off different recording modes so if you have in performance mode it will take more battery by default it's on power saving mode and i've left it on that so i'm back out of that ptz if i click on that i can adjust the camera This gives us history, calendar, you could go by dates or album. We have some recordings here, just click on this. Cloud, I don't have any cloud storage at the moment. I have light. See, it's lit everything up. Them two LED lights are really bright. It's lit the full yard up. It has a long reach this because I have reviewed other cameras that have lights but they don't go as far. This is take covering the full backyard. We have light settings. So you could manually time the light as well. You could have it on automatic or you can customize it how long it will stay on. So you have from 10 seconds all the way up to 10 minutes. Leave it on that. Can adjust the brightness as well. We have siren, album, where it says SD, that's the quality. So you can have it in standard definition or the 2K resolution, which is QHD, on this icon at the top. We have some more settings here. It's giving us information regarding the camera. But receive alarm notifications. You turn that off, but I don't see why you would want to do that. Alarm management. This is back to where we were at the start with the quick toggle. Image settings, screen flip. So if you mount the camera the other way around, you could flip the image around. This is for sharing if you want to share the camera with anyone else. You will remain the main admin. It's just like, say, if you go somewhere and you don't have any access to Wi-Fi or you don't have any data on your phone, family or friend can check in on your property to make sure it's safe gives you a guide on how to install the camera location management that little indicator light you can turn that off if you want time setting sound settings here so microphone record uh, voice speaker they're all on by default you could control the volume here as well so ai if i click on this so it says go to buy that's we have to pay for that at the bottom here if you read this text here it's letting us know what ai will do and then in the red writing number two is letting us know what will happen after you purchase it so at the moment it will only pick up like cats and dogs but if you get ai it will give you more animals you could also get the car parking and stuff so if i go back out of that cloud storage i have nothing in that you could also link this up with alexa firmware mine's up to date 
and then we have restart and delete device have a look at some daytime and nighttime footage now do let me know in the comment section below what you think of the image quality i don't know how well you could pick my screen up i'm moving my arm up and down just to show the motion Before I give you my overall thoughts on the camera, let me tell you about my experience with the app. Really easy to use. If this is your first time setting up a security camera, the app has a great interface, walks you through. It's simple to use. It's responsive. I really like this app. Now onto the camera. This camera has so many features for the price. It's amazing. The LED lights are bright and the siren, you know your property is safe. Even if you're away, Motion detection works really well. Image quality is good. All in all, I think this is a great product. You cannot go wrong with this. And at the time of recording, as we're coming up to Christmas and it's the holiday season, they have this on offer. So if you are in the market for a camera, I could 100% recommend this. Check the link out in the description box below if you want to pick this up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.